Y era Shai Masai. Bienvenidos. And I don't know, maybe welcome. We're going to go through in this screencast um, the running working example of the tutorial uh, that's provided on the Superglue site. You should see a link to that specific page at the bottom of this video if you're watching it on YouTube or maybe you're watching it on the Superglue site itself. In either case, this video or screencast is meant to be accompanied by the actual tutorial. So you should watch this along with the tutorial. It will make more sense. Anyhow, so let's go through the tutorial. You'll see here I have all the code up in Sublime. You'll see the <clears throat> streaming app, the receiver, the build SBT file. Let's make sure we can compile this. So let's run SBT compile, make sure everything's happy. And it should be. What we're covering here are the first couple steps in the tutorial. So we um, now have run through and, and made sure that it's compiling. Let's make sure that we've got um, our local Spark standalone running. So I'm going to start up a master. And then we'll start up a worker. Okay, okay, everything's looking good so far. We could even check in the browser if we wanted. We could make sure that um, our standalone's working, and it is. We've got a worker. We've got the master running, so things are looking fine here. Let's go back over to another terminal window and start up SBT. And this is where we're going to actually running the app. Might take a few seconds here to start up. And then we'll run this. And you'll see that's my OAuth token. If you want to copy it and use it, you're welcome. Otherwise, get your own. So I'm going to run this. And you're going to see some stuff flying by here pretty quick. And I'll try to call out what we're really going to be looking for. This right here, well... We went too fast, but 440 will come back later too. This time, that's what we're looking for. Um, up here. And you can already see it is connected to Slack. And we've got a message. And we've seen the presence change here. But let's actually, I'll show you in more detail. I've got a Slack team window open. We can type things like hi and Slackbot should return back. We should see this now. Yeah, right here. So it's working. Yay, us. We did it. I want to show you something else though while we're here that's kind of cool. And that is on port 440 in standalone, you'll see jobs. In the last few versions of uh, Spark, they've really done a great job on this UI. And in particular, you can go into streaming. And you can see all kinds of stuff that can help you debug. I'm not going to cover that here. Maybe some other time. Um, but I'm not going to do that here. I just thought I would call that out because it's kind of cool. Anyhow, let's go back to one last thing. I'm going to stop this job. We called this, um, we called run with two arguments, our OAuth token, but also output. Output, what we want to look for too busy showing uh, we want to look for things like this part see those part files here so that's in 2000 or so yeah so if we cat one of these part files as I described in that tutorial we're also um, writing it out to the to the file system here too so we can see all of our streaming data on the file system as well too so there how about that it's working yay us i hope this helped you guys if you run into any issues leave a comment on the tutorial page and again that link should be at the bottom of this video take care